welcome to the Digital Lifestyle Com video show. In this video, we're going to look at a promotion Microsoft UK have been running, which is about getting TV onto the PC, and particularly they're promoting this Ava Media uh, Freeview USB tuner. So I thought what I'd do, and I've not recorded one like this for a while, is I'm just going to show the process of getting uh, TV on the PC by using this tuner card. I'm going to plug it into the PC and run through the tuning options in Windows Media Center until we get Freeview working on the PC. To do this, I'm going to be using the Nvidia Zone PC connected up to my TV using HDMI. So this is um, P TV on the PC that I'm going to be doing and then back watching it on my TV. So move the camera around and I'll show you what's in the box, how we connect it up and then the Media Center setup. So for this, we've got the package here. It comes with two components essentially. We've got the tuner. So this is the Freeview tuner we're going to use. You can see it's got the coax connection there for your aerial and a little sticker on here saying insert the CD before you use it. So I'll do that. And there, and it's a USB. So I'm just going to plug that in and plug my aerial cable straight into that. Right, so let's launch the installation CD. Right, so it says get started. Plug in the TV tuner and install the drives from this disc. So I'll plug the tuner in. Right, so that's the tuner plugged in. Well, it looks like it's installed the drivers. So I presume we don't need to go and really go and do anything else for this. So let's launch Windows Media Center. Now I've already had the TV set on the, up on this so if this was a new installation it would show an icon saying set up live TV. But I'm going to launch this from the Media Center settings, which is set up TV signal. Right. We download some uh, data files. It's now examining the TV signal, so this actually looks at the tuner device and works out what it's capable of receiving. So I'm going to let this run through this. Right, so now it's detecting which tuners are on, and I'm actually not going to pick the analog tuner because the other signals are being switched off shortly anyway. So I want to go with DVB-T. So I'm going to let this configure. I'm going to configure this manually and say I've got a an antenna system. No, I don't have a set top box. Right, DVB-T, the digital free view signal. I don't want to set another one up. And now it downloads a program guide, which is cached on this machine because it's had TV soap. And now it's tuning, it, it's just doing a, a, a signal scan for the channels. Okay, that's found all the channels on there you can see the, the channels that it's detected 111 channels which is just the same as my other tv cards have picked up let's finish on that and now if i go to tv let's go to the guide and it's still downloading some of the uh, metadata i think now so let's uh, Let's have a look at ITV2. And there we go. Recording TV running. I see this farmer switch to biodegradable bags for feeding. I wonder why. Let's try some of the other channels. Beauty adds so much cachet. It will only employ those who are stunning. I can teach people how to draw, but even I can't make them beautiful. Everything around him is grist to the mill. There we are, 
without recording to you working. Now this looks Now I was using uh, Hopag Nova T and I had some uh, corruption issues with like like weak signal issues and uh, that looks better so we'll, we'll see whether it is as I start to use the uh, the tuner. So now I've got my tuner up and running I can go through and record something so I can uh, go onto this channel this show here it's on next and I can do record or record series, record series will just always record this, record will just record this one episode of it and we've got 14 days worth of EPG data as well so we've got a lot of information in there ready for uh, ready to record so that's it really that's all you need to do to get TV working on your PC you need a tuner card like this of a media card that uh, I was using details for the price and where to buy it are on the blog going with this video you plug it into media center run the scan and away you go so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one on the digital lifestyle.com